She is known as the Princess of Luanda. Isabel dos Santos is Africa's richest woman with an estimated fortune of over $2 billion. She's at the helm of an economic and financial empire. The businesswoman is also the daughter of former President José Eduardo dos Santos, who led Angola for almost 40 years. And it was when he was in power that she and her husband had access to lucrative yet suspicious deals. The investigation alleges, for example, that the state oil company Son and Gold sold an investment to Dos Santos's husband, Sindico Docolo, for around $12 million, which is now worth over $830 million. And while Dos Santos was Son and Gold's chair, $115 million of payments to consultancy firms went through a Dubai company controlled by her partners. The corruption scheme extended to real estate as well, and two of the businesswoman's companies were going to charge $500 million for a project in Luanda real estate development before the new president cancelled the project over inflated costs. The princess of Luanda was quick to deny the accusations on Twitter. These revelations come after the businesswoman's assets were frozen last month by the Angolan government, which estimates that she embezzled over a billion dollars, accusations that de Santos says are politically motivated. This is really an attempt to um, influence internal political politics of the MPLA, uh, not allowing for any other voices or any other candidates or any other uh, possible uh, 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 factions within the party to actually rise up and take voice. De Santos is unlikely to have her day in court. She hasn't been in Angola for over a year.